Good afternoon, everyone. Our announcements today, and it's my honor to be here as the guest to present the announcements to you. I have a special message. That's why you're seeing me here today. Our Knights of Columbus, first of all, are on the other side of the church distributing the Christmas wreaths to any of those who ordered them. So the orders have arrived, and you can pick them up after Mass today on the other side of the church. The Knights also have Christmas cards and other Christmas gifts for sale at the tables as well. Flyers are in the back of the church and also posted at the doors with information regarding a special Advent concert that we'll host here in the parish courtyard sponsored by Spirit-Filled Hearts Ministry. That will take place here the night of Sunday, December 13th, and all are welcome to attend. Our next Sunday Mass in Italian will be next Sunday. First Sunday of every month we have Mass in Italian. It's at 6.30 p.m. Father Claude will be black, back excuse me, to celebrate that Mass. Let's go and see. And then uh, finally, also, uh, it is my happy responsibility to update you in regard to our stewardship efforts for this year. Now, it's, of course, it's been a long year with all that's been going on. Uh, and in the year that, that, you know, we look back on the many blessings that we have, and we're grateful to God, certainly. And uh, we begin with that. Certainly thankful to all of you in regard to our stewardship if you've been following along, uh, the Sunday collections have been doing fantastic. So thank you all for your great generosity. Of course, trying to provide, as we have, this beautiful courtyard. Uh, the tents, as you know, are not free. This is an expense. But everyone in their generosity, especially in regard to Sunday collections, has been able to allow us to maintain this courtyard atmosphere and everything that it entails and still remain in budget. So that's very, very grateful for that. My appeal today is in regard to end of the year giving and in regard to our annual PSA. And again, as a reminder, this is the pastoral services appeal, the fundraising for the diocese and the parish. So the envelopes for this year's appeal are here on the tables. They're also in the back of the church. This year's theme, our faith, our future. So of course, knowing that the future here at the parish community is very bright and we are blessed with that. Uh, this year's appeal in regard to where we are, I have some numbers for you. So with one month left, because this appeal ends on December 31st, we have now received about 115 payments. So if you're among the 115 that have already made your PSA payment, thank you so much. Our pledges to this point total about $57,000, payments $54,000. And again, thank you if you have already done your PSA. So our assessment goal this year is 95000 Every year, as you know, we exceed the goal substantially. We're hoping and expecting to do the same with a strong finish again this year. So over the 95000 everything that is raised obviously stays here at the parish for our plans and our projects. And we do have a project. We do have a plan that we will execute uh, as soon as possible, and especially with funds, uh, some of that hopefully coming from the refund from the PSA. We will install in the church a permanent live streaming system. Uh, as you know, this is now the expectation that we'll be able to live stream things. And of course, it's very helpful for those who are not able to be present. And as you know, we're making use of temporary cameras and temporary sound systems and all the cords and all the pads and everything. So in the church, we have a, an excellent plan to install very discreetly several cameras and all the hardware and software that will make us capable of being able to live stream any event that takes place in the church. So, you know, weddings, funerals, Holy Communions, confirmation, whatever. All of that will be, it's a permanent investment really in the, uh, in the church. In addition to the permanent live streaming system in the church, also the plan includes here in the courtyard a permanent sound system. As you know, of course, we're using the temporary speakers with all the cords. This would all go away. We have a beautiful plan to install like permanent speakers and a permanent sound system that would serve the courtyard for the events that we would continue to have. And of course, if we are going to continue to live stream mass here in the courtyard as well. So that's the plan. That's our next project that we're going to execute. And again, a portion of the rebate from the PSA would help to fund that. So again, thank you so much for your generosity, uh, especially in regard to Sunday giving. It's been amazing to see uh, the support for the parish. And again, for the last uh, month of this year, in regard to the PSA, we are, again, very, very grateful for what we expect will be another strong finish in that regard. Our intention for the Mass today is for Teresa and Jeff Sando. 
And let us now pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Asperges me, Domine, isopo et mundapo, lavabis me. Ostende Domine Miseric Nobis Domine Misericordiam Tuam. Et salutare Tuam da Nobis. Domine Exaudiorazione Mea. Et clamor Meus a Te Venia. Dominus Fobiscum. Et cum Spiritu Tuam. Oremus Exaudinus Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens Eterne Deus. Et mitere digneri sanctum angelum tuum de celis, qui custodiat foviat protegat, visiterat cu defendat omnes habitantes in hoc habitaculo, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Ate leva vi. Yeah. 
Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, oremus, exitaquesimus domini potentiam tuam et veni, ut ab imminentibus peccatorum nostrorum periculis, temeriam a protegente eripi, te liberante salvari, qui vivis et regnas cum Deo Patre, in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Le 
Lexio Epistolae Beati Pauli Apostoli Ad Romanos Fratres, scientes qui ora est iam nos de somno surgere, nunc enim proprior est nostra salus, quam cum cre credidimus, nox precessi dies autem a propinquavit. Abiciamus ergo opere tenebrarum in dua amor arma lucis. Sigud in Dei oneste ambulemus, non in commissiationibus, et in ebrationitibus, non in cubilibus, et in pudicitis, non in contentione, et emulatione, sed in duimini domini Iesum Christum. Sequite expectant, non confunde tur domine. Vias tuas domine notas fac mi, et semitas tuas ed oceme. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritu tu, sequentia sancti evangelii secundum luca. Gloria tibi domine. In illo tempore dixit Iesus discipuli suis, Erunt signa in sole et luna et stelis, et in teris presura gentium pre confusione sonitus maris et fluctuum, arescentibus hominibus pre timore et expectatione, que superveniens universo orbi, nam virtutes celorum movebuntur. Et tunc videbunt filium hominis venientem in nube, cum potes sate magna et maestate. His autem fieri incipientibus, respicite et levate capita vestra, quoniam apropinquat redemptio vestra. Et dixit illi similitudinem, videte ficulniam et omnes arvores, cum producunt iam exe fructum, Scitis quoniam prope est estas. It et vos cum videritis hec fieri, scitote quoniam prope est renium Dei. Amen, dico vovis, que non preteribit generatio hec, donec omnia fiant. Celum et terra transibunt, 
Verba autem mea non transibunt. One of the ways that we can tell a culture is by how its members greet each other. In southern Germany and Austria, you will be greeted with Christ Gott, God greet you. In Poland, you are greeted with praise be Jesus Christ. The Irish greet you by saying, God and Mary be with you. And the greeting is returned with, God, Mary, and Patrick be with you. As St. Teresa of Avila said, the company of God's friends is a good way of keeping us near him. And in the church, we have also a greeting, Dominus Vobiscum, to which we reply, et cum spiritu tuo, and with thy spirit. Our God is always present with us. The church has a, a special liturgical season to draw us to this, to, to draw our attention to this. Advent, the language that we use, the symbols we use, the readings we hear, are all about God who comes to us. Of course, he does not come from afar. He stands at the door and knocks. It is not he who is far from us, but we who are absent from him. We are absent not in terms of distance, but by desire. We are not anchored in our Lord by our desire, because we have allowed our desire to carry us elsewhere, to estrange us from our innate Christian desires. And this is what Advent is all about. It is a pilgrimage, a return to our interior Christian yearnings. Sometimes when children want to test if they are really loved or wanted at home, they go through a ritual of running away. They pack their little suitcases, present themselves to their parents, deliver a farewell discourse worthy of Socrates, and make for the door, hoping that they will not have to go through it because they have not the slightest idea what to do next. In a way, the church goes through a similar ritual every year. The church pretends a distance between itself and its Lord, but a distance that has in reality been bridged all, already 2,000 years ago by the love of a Father shown in Christ. The church reminds us of what the distance was in order to rejoice more fully in his love. The Advent season is often filled with parties and celebrations that risk becoming occasions for sinful indulgence. Let it not be so for us, but through the necessary sacrifice that comes from moderation and avoiding sin, let it be a good season. Let us shine and be seen by others to be children of the light rather than children of the darkness. If we are somnolent, sleepwalking through life with our wills and intellects drowsily acquiescent to the norms and expectations of our culture and surroundings, then the light we shed will be minimal and may even be extinguished. In today's first reading, the Apostle Paul says, now is the hour for us to rise from sleep. 
Advent presents us all with a welcome opportunity to snap out of our spiritual slumber. We have 26 days before the 25th. The best gift that we can give to our Lord in return to all his gifts is a clean conscience. Don't squander these 26 days by letting them pass you. Rather, strive each day to train ourselves in virtue so that we hate what we once sinfully desire and to love what God loves, to love what he teaches us and desires of us, our sanctification. Credo in unum Deum, Patrem Omnipotentem, Pactor in Celie Teres, Visibilium Omnium, Et Invisibilium, Et in unum Domino,
Dominus Vobiscum, et cum spiritu tu, oremus. Eromnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuus. 
Sur sum corta. Gratia sagamus, Domino de nostro. Vere dignum et justum et secum et salutare, nos tibi semper dubique, gratia sagere, Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens, eterne Deus, per Christum Dominum nostrum, quem perdito hominum generis salvatorem, Misericos et fidelis promisisti, cuius veritas instruere et incius, sanctitas justificare et impio, virtus adjuvare et infirmus. Tum ergo propes ut veniat quem misurus es, Et dies effulgit liberationis nostre, in ac promissionum tuarum fide, bis gaudis exultamus. Et ideo, cum angelis et archangelis, cum tronis et dominationibus, Cumque omni militia celestis exercitus, hymnum gloriae tue canimus, sine fine dicentes. Yeah.
nobis quoque precatoribus. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus, preceptis salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere, Pater noster qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum. Adveniat renium tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis de vita nostra, sicur et nos dimitius de vitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Sed libera nos Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Et tum spiritu tuum. Manius Dei.
Three black bulbs and liquid tents of mystical cell minerals. Amen. Ek chan news day, ek check with toilets, pek out a mundi. Domine non sum dig news, rintere subtectum meum, setantum dig verbot senabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dig news, rintere subtectum meum, setantum dig verbot senabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dig news, rintere subtectum meum, setantum dig verbot senabitur anima mea.
Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, oremus, suscipiamus Domine misericordiam tu in medio templi tui, ut preparationis nostre ventura solemnia, con gruis honoribus precedamus, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivere et regnat unanitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Ite misa est. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. 